backed up down this block here because there's no turnabout down there. I misjudged this a bit, eh? Wow. Somebody hacked off the... <laughs> okay. This is one of those all electric models, which they have in, uh, I guess they have, that's all they have in Quebec. According to the jackpot digger, the man, the man is so fond of the electricity. Well, electricity here costs quite a bit of money, so. Not really the best deal. <clears throat> the guy, oh yeah, this thing is good. I'm looking at it and I'm like, yeah, okay. It's trash. Anything you find in Joliet is trash. Yeah, so I got this one commenter. Some people would call, call the guy a hater, but I don't. They're speaking their mind. They're like, excuses are something incompetent, whatever. Okay. I'll give you that. So I love, I love. I love to comment for the heart there. <laughs> I don't know. Most most YouTubers would have deleted it, but <laughs> I love your comment. Does it really qualify as a hater? Or just somebody being what they feel is uh, what they feel is honest. Well, you're welcome to your opinion. That type of opinion, you're welcome to your opinion. <coughs> Those kind of comments don't get deleted. Because they're not full of cuss words and stuff like that, so. Hey. That's how you feel, or? I mean, that's what you know. I feel I'm good with that. Because. I can't say that the person's wrong. Okay? I am incompetent. There's my, uh... That's why I'm a scrapper. Because I'm incompetent. You don't think I'd be doing this if I knew how to do stuff. This is the last thing I'd be doing. If 
I were competent, I would not be picking people's garbage. If I were a young work hard, <laughs> the lanky. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, what some people might take as a hater comment, I take as, uh, you know, somebody speaking their mind and actually being. what some people would call painfully honest but <laughs> it's just uh the slip shot uh, work ethic and uh and my ability together Kingdom, you have all kinds of them. No, not really. I can't remember a lot of things. I know more excuses. No, really, I extraordinarily forgetful. Write it down. All right, I write it down and I forget where I put the paper. You see the way I keep house? Garbage everywhere. <laughs> uh, uh, so. My actual goal in life is to get the house paid off. After that, everything else can pretty much go to hell. You know, that, that I don't really need. I don't need so much infrastructure any longer. And then I can start selling that down. These have been dreams that I've been trying to achieve and I, I actually did achieve them a couple of times and life and circumstances steered me away from that. Like I had a condominium, a two bedroom small condominium in Chicago which you know the neighborhood, okay this doesn't happen the neighborhood. So you get 
get all kinds of immigrant workers like from you know Eastern Europe coming over and rehabbing the buildings for these companies. My uncle happens to be one of those people. Rehabbing inner city buildings and gentrifying the neighborhood. So what happens is the poverty people, mostly minorities, that had claimed in that neighborhood years and years ago are being pushed out by mostly but not entirely white people. Not entirely, I mean, it's more now an economic class than, than a skin color or, you know, a particular race who are pushing the minorities out. So it might be people of the same minority pushing poverty minority people out. Well, years ago when the gentrifications first started, it was mostly white people pushing the poverty people out. And the poverty people then finding new places to live, so to speak, in areas where white people were, were running from and moving out to the, to the suburbs. That's the cycle that's been going on, and I'm just explaining something that doesn't totally make sense to many people, but my dream, okay, I don't know how I got back onto that topic, but my dream is always to have a place that's paid for and just be done. Not need to work every freaking day, okay? And so I, I had achieved that goal, when I lived in, in, the, in the city, but the neighborhood changed and we pretty much had to sell because when the neighborhood changed, then things start getting stolen and broken and broke, you know, vandalized and, you know, you know, I mean, you can't own anything. When the poverty people start moving in, you know, the wheels go missing on your car. Remember that white, the old white Cadillac, somebody stole a wheel off of it. And somebody, I, I had a pickup truck there, and somebody stole, tried to steal the spare tire. It was dangling all the way down underneath the truck, and for some reason, they did not complete their mission. See, this is where they get those yellow speed bumps, and people go crazy when you go try to go around them.
place out here which was really expensive for me for normal people not so much <laughs> only two hundred twenty thousand dollars but for me interest rate at first for 12 months and then the interest rate jumps so it was not a fixed rate so it jumped around it was started out at three percent and after one year it jumped up to 15 percent so the mortgage went from 1300 dollars a month Yeah. 
looks like poverty, but you know, if it's in a foreign country, nah, it's not poverty, it's just, just the way that it is. But American standards, if that was in the States, that would be a very poor area. <coughs> but wherever it's at, <clears throat> I can't figure it out. <coughs> but there's a <clears throat> there's an image of them of the guy passing a gas station. <coughs> we don't have any gas stations that look like that <coughs> that I know of. Oh, that guy's waving me down there. Yeah, we don't have any gas stations like that. Not that I know of, maybe we, we do here in the States. Let's see what these guys got. I'll pull in just so you guys can watch in the video. Now got over the Oh wow, that didn't feel good at all. Oh, he's got a couple more over here. Anything. 
you know, when you live by something that produces sound, like railroad tracks, airport, highway, you quickly get used to it. So the sound doesn't bother you. Or at least it didn't bother me. I feel, oh, there's some scrap. I feel it's something sinister. You would, Kingdom, wouldn't you? I should have taken the camera out, but they didn't. Oh, oh furniture! I should yank a drawer out of that. Now nah, these people know me. They'd be at my house knocking on the door. Saying, hey, you took one, take the whole thing. So I better leave it alone. downloaded uh, that 40 minute video but the only way I was able to, to do that is I down res you know the, the video
basically I uh, I removed a few pixels. <laughs> because otherwise it would take about it would take about two hours to upload that. problems Tucker Upper has, you know, because I think he doesn't down res video quality so that he can upload a little bit faster. Yeah, a monster like this. Techie bites. Let's just shut it down right here for a moment. I'll come to a rest for a minute. Maybe go in the house, wash me hands, go back out.